Carol, so glad to be connected with you. I am so thankful to be connected with the Executive Lion Tamer. Thank you so much for being here with me here on Reinvention Daily. Everyone's favorite question right now, how have you reinvented your business? It's been a lot more coaching and a lot less speaking. Uh, the speaking has turned virtual. And then uh, in June, my academies have started up with the construction companies and the distribution companies and my manufacturers who are just blowing uh blowing their doors open i mean they are just they have two to three times the work that they normally do and because they're so busy and they have actually a lot less time for the academies than they normally do they need it more because the behavior of course uh, of their staff and their leaders uh, is also exploding and sometimes not in a great way so we need to hold them accountable and we need to, to keep working on their leadership um, in terms of webinars and academies and seminars and leadership, you know, when we do things on video, there's that wall. We can only see so much of each other. And so in, in order to be interactive, we have to get really innovative. And so um, the first month or two, I wasn't that great at it, I'll be honest, because I'm really good at it in person. But now I've gotten to be much better at it. And although my academies are still in person, um, my webinars are much more interactive and they're actually very, very well done now. So I'm very happy about that. Um, and then the other thing, which is huge, is that I'm doing a lot more marriage counseling <laughs> and family counseling for my CEOs, my surgeons and my attorneys. Um, because frankly, they're with their spouse and their families a lot more than they're used to. And so they, they now realize that they need to work on their relationship. So um, we saved some more marriages. So that's good. <laughs> Absolutely. And I applaud you for just what you've created for yourself. There's a lot of decisions, as you said, you're sitting there kind of like, oh, what do I do? As we all were doing back then. And just what you've done to, to continue on, to, to embrace what's going on and the problems and the, the, the solutions that people need. You know, you are a guiding light and you are someone who are really, really tap into that and help these people out. So I applaud you for, for that, tra that transition and that reinvention. And it leads me to my next question, Carol, is, is what's the new conversation that you want to start as we move forward? Why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? If you are a leader of a company, why are you waiting? If your company is exploding or on hold, what's holding you back from continuing to develop yourself or your staff? What's holding you back from continuing to bring the human and the soul back into the business? You see, my, my, the business name is Leadership and Soul. And the reason why I named it that is because so many leaders were bringing their physical body to work and leaving their soul in bed. So why are you waiting if you're waiting? This is the time if there ever was a time. If you're too busy, this is the time when it's needed the most. If you're not busy enough, this is the time that you have to grow. So why are you waiting? This is the time that leaders need you the most to help them grow and to help them become the best version of themselves.